Choose a player or enter your name. Then, click on the sign in button to start the story. This is George. He was a good little monkey, but always very curious. One day, George's friend Billy came over with a special friend. George, when the people at the newspaper hear this bird, they won't believe it. George and Billy went inside and found the newsroom. They met Hildy Hawkins, one of the Daily Bulletin star reporters. You must be Billy. I'm glad you stopped by. But listen, I'm very busy. What's so special about this bird? Lola, was it? That's right. Lola is the best storyteller you'll ever meet. She can tell you what it's like to climb Mount Everest. She can tell you about having tea with the Queen of England. And she can do tricks that no other bird can do. Well... That would make a great story, indeed. I'd like to talk to her. Sure, but please, whatever you do, don't open the cage. She'll fly away, and it will be almost impossible to get her back. Okay. Go ahead, Lola. Tell me a story. Well, Hildy, before they built the Brooklyn Bridge, who do you think everyone counted on to get all of that mail across the river? That's who! I'd like to share this with you, but first, I'd like you to get me some Happy Face Crackers! Lola! Wow! You're right! She's amazing! This'll make a great story! Just a sec! Hildy Hawkins here! Hey Hill, there's a fire on Beacon Street! That's your beat, isn't it? Sure is! I'll be right there! The three of you stay right here. I'll be back soon. We'll have just enough time to write your story for the afternoon edition. Looks like we'll be here for a while. I'm gonna look around. You stay here and watch Lola. Psst! George! Do me a favor! Open the door! George thought Billy said not to open the door. But George was curious. He wanted to see what kinds of tricks Lola could do. George! I've been practicing a triple flip! George had never seen that before. He reached over and... <coughs> sure enough, Lola was happy to be out of her cage, but she didn't do any tricks. Instead, she circled around the room and then... Oh no! She flew out the window and headed for the roof. George felt very sorry. There was nothing to do but go after her. Be careful, George. I'll meet you up there. George climbed up to the very top of the newspaper building. He found a pair of painters hard at work. They were working on a fancy new sign-making machine. They were very busy and did not look happy about having visitors. Hey! Where'd this bird come from? Hey, Birdie, come here. Stay away from there. Oh, paint! I remember when I was the centerpiece of the royal portrait. The diamonds on my crown were so heavy. I could hardly hold my head up. Such hard work. That darn bird. Keep her off the... Oh, no. Look out for the wet paint. Drat! How are we going to finish this job by lunchtime? Well, maybe George can help us. Yeah! George, can you help us? Please? George felt bad. He let Lola out of her cage, and now she'd caused a lot of trouble. George saw that the painters were upset, so he decided to help them paint their signs. Click on the letters to spell each word. Then George will paint the sign. Click on the big buttons to change the color. Let's get to work. Spell bag. I brought my lunch to work in a bag. Bag. B. A. 
G. Bad. Excellent. Spell pants. There is paint all over my white pants. Pants. P. A. N. T. S. Pants. Great. Spell sit. Don't sit on that wet paint. Sit. S. I. T. Sit. Great job. Spell him. That color looks good on him. Him. H. I. M. Him. Good work. Spell spot. I have a little spot of purple paint on my nose. Spot. S. P. O. T. Spot. Great job. Spell. Mop. We'll use a mop to clean up the spilled paint. Mop. M. O. P. Mop. Super. Spell. Yes. Just answer yes or no. Yes. Y. E. S. Yes. Great. Spell fed. We fed peanuts to the elephant. Fed. F. E. D. Fed. Great job. Nice work. Look at all of these signs. Thanks for helping us, George. Hey, George. Lola just landed on top of the building next door. Let's go. Wait. Take this. That bird is dangerous to have around. If you don't catch her soon, you're going to need this to warn everybody. George took the sign. Then he and Billy hurried off to catch up with Lola. There she is, up there. It was a busy construction site. While Billy asked for help, George explored the construction site. There were all kinds of machines he had never seen before. George was very curious. He found a tall crane and climbed inside. What a wonderful machine. George was sure that this was the way to catch that bird. Pretty soon, he was making the crane go up and down. Uh, George, you shouldn't be playing with that. George, be careful! George had figured out how to start the crane, but he didn't know how to stop it. And it swung right into all of the building plans. Look, we can't build the building if the workers don't have plans. Help me pick up the building plans and get them back to the right worker. Help George pick up the plans that spell each word. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to help George move. Listen carefully. Spell jump. I have never seen anyone jump as high as you can. Jump. J. U M P Jump! Great! Spell fun. Driving a dump truck is fun. Fun. F
N. Fun. Nice job. Spell so. I am so glad I don't have to climb up there. So. S. O. So. Good work. Spell we. When we work together, the job gets done. We. W E We Super Spell Name What's the name of Billy's bird? Name N A M E Name Nice job Spell Skate In the winter, I like to skate Skate S K A T E Skate Super Spell Line We put all of the bricks in a line Line L I N E Line Excellent Spell Nine a baseball team has nine players and nine. I. 
George, now we can get back to work. Please be more careful the next time you visit. A construction site is a dangerous place. George had just a thing for the foreman. Why, thank you, George. I'll put this up to warn everybody. Maybe you can use these to build something at home where it's a little safer. Nice day for a spin around the park. There's Lola! Come on, let's go! George and Billy raced down after the park. Soon, they caught up to the bird. Yoo-hoo! You might want to watch where you're going! George and Billy didn't take their eyes off of Lola as they ran after her, so they didn't notice that they were headed right for a fence. Oh, now you've done it! I just arranged these flowers for the Words in Bloom display that's due at the library this afternoon. Now they're completely out of order. We're very sorry, but you see, we're after our bird. Yes, but my flowers! You really should clean up this mess that you made. Besides, I don't see a bird around here. Please arrange the flower pots on the wagon to spell each word. Put the first letter in the spot with the blue circle. Ready? Spell Slippers My bedroom slippers have roses on them Slippers S L I P P E R S Slippers Good work! Spell flat. Oh no! The tire on the wheelbarrow is flat. Flat. F. L. A. T. Flat. Great job! Spell feet. I like to walk in the grass in my bare feet. Feet. F E E T Feet Great! Spell Sleep The cats like to sleep in a sunny spot. Sleep F L E E. T. Sleep. Great! Spell. Best. What's the best way to get a bird back in its cage? Best. B. E. S. T. Best. Great! Spell fist. If you close your fingers, you can make a fist. Fist. F. I. F. T. Fist. Super! Spell May. You may go inside the greenhouse. May M A Y May Good work! Spell Ray A ray of sunshine helps my plants grow. 
Ray R A Y Ray Good work! Well, good! You did a fine job! The display is ready for words in blue. Of course, my fence is still broken. George knew right away that he could help. He took out the wood and nails the foreman had given him. Well, look at this. This is just what I need. Why don't you take a box of these fresh strawberries? I grew them myself. Thank you. They look delicious. Come on, George. Let's hurry up and get to the park. So the two started back on the path to the park. This time, they made sure they watched where they were going. When they reached the park, George and Billy saw lots of people having picnics and flying kites, but they didn't see Lola anywhere. Oh, look, George. My friends are having a picnic. Hi, Billy. Hi, George. Hi, we're looking for Lola. Have you seen her? Your bird? We just saw her. You did? The newspaper is doing an article about her, and we have to get her back right away. Can you help us catch her? Sure, what should we do? First, we need some crackers. Do you have any? Here, we have a box of Happy Face crackers. Perfect! Those are her favorite. Can we have them? Um, sure. Billy realized that his friends had just offered him their snack. We have some fresh strawberries. Joey, do you want to trade us for your crackers? Okay, thanks. George took out the strawberries that the gardener had given him, and he traded them for the crackers. But just as Joey handed the basket over to George... I'm hungry, and I want a happy face! Oh no, look out! Lola flew away with the picnic basket, but she didn't notice that everything, including her favorite snack, was falling out of it. Look at that! She dropped all of the crackers! Let's pick them up and try to catch up to her! Hurry and pick everything up before Lola tries to get it. I'll tell you a word. Then you pick up the right crackers to spell it. Ready? Spell splash. Did you see a fish splash in the water? Splash. S. P. L. A. S. H. Splash. That's it. Spell fish. I caught five fish in the lake. Fish. F. I. S. H. Fish. Great. Spell frogs. My brother has five pet frogs. Frogs. F. R. O. G. S. Frogs. That's it. Spell jets. I like to watch jets make white lines in the sky. Jets. J. E. T. S. Jets. Got it. Spell whisker. My cat cleans every whisker on her face. Whisker. W. H. I. S. K. E. R. Whisker. Got it. Spell white. Look at the white clouds in the blue sky. White. W. H. I. T. E. White. Got it. Spell bye. We need to meet the reporter by 11 o'clock. Bye. E. Y. Bye. Great. Spell shy. The shy boy doesn't like to talk. Shy. S. H. Y. Shy. Got it. Great! We've got all of the crackers. Now we can catch Lola. Hey! No crackers? George held out the crackers for Lola. Tired and hungry from flying all over town, she finally flew down. And George and Billy brought her back to the newspaper, just in time for their interview with the reporter. Back inside the newsroom, George and Billy looked for the reporter. 
Looking for Hildy? She got held up. Won't be back till later. Guess your story won't make the evening edition. Sorry, guys. George had an idea. Good thinking. We can write the story ourselves. To finish your story, place each word in the correct sentence. Ah. The. And. Curious George chased Lola, a talking parrot, for five miles. He ran from the town to Goldfish Pond. George had let Lola get out. Then he tried and tried to get her back. Excellent! Turn the page to keep going. Is. Two. Ah. George is sorry now for what he did. He opened the cage door. The bird flew to an open window and got away. She flew up, up, up. She flew to the top of the building and messed up a freshly painted sign. Super! Turn the... Was. I. You. Rosie the painter was shocked and upset. I couldn't believe it, she cried. What a mess. Rosie was upset. How would you feel, she asked. But George did help us fix the sign. Great! Turn the page to keep going. Four. They. Have. George worked for the painters. Then they gave him a sign that said, Danger. Rosie said, You may need this, George. I hope I don't have another day like that one, said Rosie. Nice job! Turn the page to keep going. One. All. Ah. Then George saw the bird flying above a new building. There was only one thing on his mind to get that bird back. George tried to use a crane to catch the bird. Instead, he knocked all the building plans to the ground. Plans like that are important. Nice job! Turn the page to keep going. There. As. His. The foreman said, not everyone is allowed up there. But I needed George to get those plans back to the right people. I watched as George went to work. He used his great climbing skill to go up and down the building. George worked very fast. Great! Turn the page to keep going. Out. Work. Wood. George never once ran out of breath. There were over 50 plans to return. George returned them all safely. I would like to be able to climb as well as George, laughed the foreman. Good work. Turn the page to keep going. Do. From. Will. When George was done, the foreman knew what to do. He took some nails and wood from his supply. He gave them to George. I think you will need these, he said. Great! Turn the page to keep going. What? Her. Said. George was not sure what would happen next. He watched and waited. Soon, he spotted Lola. She was flying right towards the town gardener, who was finishing her flower display. 
That bird dove right at my flowers, said the gardener. Excellent. Turn the page to keep going. About. Four. Some. Then, about a minute later, I saw George running right at me, she cried. Which was a stranger sight, the diving bird or the flying monkey? I did not have time to think about it, said the gardener. She had a display to finish, and now she needed some help. Nice job! Turn the page to keep going. Other. Your. There. I asked George and Billy to help me. There was no other choice, explained the gardener. I said to them, it is your bird, isn't it? Won't you please help me? Working as a team, the gardener, George, and Billy finished their work quickly. Good work! Turn the page to keep going. Has. Very. Could. The gardener said, George should be more careful. He's lucky he has a lot of charm. She was very happy. To thank George, she gave him some fresh strawberries. This could have been a disaster. It's a good thing George is a quick learner, the gardener said. Excellent! Turn the page to keep going. Now. Hour. Look, Lola had now flown all the way to Goldfish Pond. She was getting hungry. We were having a picnic. Out of nowhere, she flew down and grabbed our picnic basket, cried Joey. I was afraid to look, said Elena. Nice job! Turn the page to keep going. Two. Over. Into. The two children chased the bird. Lola flew away, but the basket wasn't closed. Food fell all over the ground. The bird flew up into a tree. Nice job! Turn the page to keep going. How? Back. Down. We could see Lola in the tree. We didn't know how to get her. George helped the children put the food back into the basket. He also found Lola's favorite crackers. George was smart. He used the crackers to get her down from the tree. Nice job! Turn the page to keep going. Little. Who? Year. We had very little time. We raced back to the newspaper building as fast as we could go. The reporter who was going to write the story was gone. We wanted Lola's story printed, so we decided to write the story ourselves. The editor thought we did a super job. He said it could be the story of the year. You finished it. Let's get this story printed. Hey, this is good. It's really good. Listen, if I need any help, I'll come looking for you too. George and Billy were excited to become reporters. They were ready now.